Hi, how you doing? This is Keith, and I'm going to teach you how to create a flipping book using FlipSnack and Google Docs. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have your Google Doc open. We're going to save this as a PDF. So to do that, what you need to do is come up to the File menu in, within Google Docs, come down to where it says Download As, and you are going to choose PDF Document. And when you do that, it places your PDF right down in the downloads, and you'll also notice it's down here at the bottom of the page. I'm done in Google Docs, and now I'm going to switch over to FlipSnack. And from here, the first thing I'm going to do is to sign in. Once you sign in, it's going to ask you for uh, either signing in with email, Facebook, Twitter. We're going to go sign in with Google. And from here, it's going to ask you for your username and password. Type those in. And if it's your first time using FlipSnack, it'll also ask you to uh, allow FlipSnack to access your couple of things in your Google account. Go ahead and just click Accept. And if it's, again, your first time in FlipSnack, you will not see all of these files, obviously. You'll just see Make My First Flipping Book. Uh, I have been logged in, and I've done some flipping books as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up to go and click on New Flip. Alright, now we're going to locate that PDF that I just saved from my Google Doc and a couple different ways that you can do it. You can either use this blue button to select that PDF or easier way, I think it's easier, is come down here where my PDF is and I just drag it up into this gray box. Make sure that I see that green plus and then I just drop it. Once it's dropped, it prepares your file and then it brings you to a screen where you can do a couple things while they're finishing it up. Uh, one of the ones that, one of the things that you can do is to change the title of it uh, by just clicking here and I'm going to remove that too and you also notice that there's no space in between the and pangolin so I'm going to do that and then I can also add a quick description And then I could say finish if this is all that I wanted to do. And you can actually flip through your book here and page by page. They do load a little slowly. Um, but there's also a lot of great other things you can do within the advanced settings. So I'm going to click on advanced settings. Once I'm in here, different sections of the advanced setting are I can edit the title and description. I've already done that so I don't need to do that. I can choose different templates uh, and there's five different ones that you can choose from and I'm gonna scroll down because there's a couple different things that I want to do down below the preview section. They're preparing my book. It's not quite ready but in the settings a couple things that I always do. I have my students uh, embed their flipbooks into their blogs and they use Blogger and one thing we've noticed with Blogger is the preset size of 640 by 385 is too wide. So I always have my students come down to the width and change it to 550 or below. That will always allow, no matter which uh, settings you have, which layout you have in Blogger, it will always fit within there. And then, so now I can take a look at my flipbook and I can flip through it and you can start seeing what it looks like. And then from here, it's just playing around with all the other uh, features that you can change. One thing that's kind of nice is to change it to, instead of having your files first page, is that you could change it to pictures. And you can choose the different kind of pictures. And as you're changing it, the preview changes up here. It gives me a blank cover, which is OK. But what I can do is if I click on this hardcover effect right there, and I change the, uh, I ch select the show file on first page, then I can, if I rename it over here on the right hand side, I can actually put the author there and I can choose different settings here and you can see it now has a nice picture cover on the back and it also has the title and the author right there. So that's one of the things that I can do. I could that was the pictures. I can change it to textures and there's a bunch of preset textures that you can select. You can also say upload image. So if you have an image that you uh, have found, you can upload cover image and find a nice picture of say a pangolin, uh, which is what I have. 
and it is then uploaded to the back of the cover and it's kind of a nice feature and it also puts the the pangolin picture throughout the throughout the book all the way to the back cover so now once I'm done with that if I like the way it looks I then come down and I say finish now once you've finished your book you will then give be given choices of either sharing the link which just takes you to the flip snack website or you can also then select the embed which is what I have my students do and then this is the part that kind of uh, challenges people because they're not sure what to do because if you click next it's you have to then say you're going to use 10 points etc etc if you just select the use free with watermark it gives you a nice uh, embed code there and you just simply copy it and once you've copied it then you can po uh, publish this into your blogger so now I am logged into my blog and I'm going to create a new post and when I create the new post one thing that I do need to make sure that I am in is the HTML mode I do not want to be in compose I want to be making sure that I am in the HTML if there's code there you can get rid of it and I'm just going to paste in the embed code from Flipsnack I'm going to give it a quick title and I have my students label it we always label it with the GR3 label you can choose different labels to your liking and that's all you need to do as far as getting the flip snack on there of course at this point I would have students uh, do a reflection about their writing but uh, to save time I'm just gonna click on publish once it's published I can then view the blog and take a look at what it looks like when it's all said and done and once it's loaded I can then just flip through and it has the nice page turning effects so that was Google Docs to a flipping book using Flipsnack. Thank you.